Hello, so today's video we're going to be going to PetSmart and we're going to set up um, a cage for my hamster back there. <laughs> um, so my hamster is in one of those tiny, tiny, tiny little cages right now, oh, right there, right there, tiny, tiny, tiny little cage, but you know, I just don't think hamsters should live like that, even though that's what's marketed for them, um, kind of much like a guinea pig, like I don't like that such small cages are marketed for them because would you like to be stuck in that small cage? No. So we're going to go and see what aqua aquarium tanks are available to make a bigger space for Signorina. So let's go to PetSmart. I did want to put out there that while I'm in the store, I will have this mask on because <sighs> coronavirus. Um, but you know, I really didn't want to wait until quarantine was done to get the cage for my hamster because I don't like that he's in such a tiny tiny enclosure I I'm you know I don't like being in my apartment right now all alone in that tiny space um and I feel like animals would feel like much the same way about being in a tiny space you know what I'm saying so I just didn't want to wait but I am going to wear my handy dandy mask so okay so okay so we are here at PetSmart. Um, I'm not really gonna film in the store. I might like, I don't know, I'll show you the aisles to show you like the stuff I'm buying. I won't really be saying anything or anything like that because that's awkward and weird. And I don't want to do that. <laughs> so, but we are at PetSmart. So let's go in and see what they have. I think we might go with reptile cage. Let me go back to terrarium actually. So I ended up getting a reptile terrarium. I don't I have to pull up. I'm just gonna put it in my car. So I'll show you everything when I get home. So we have the cage secured. Um I'm about to go to Walmart so I can pick up some more bedding because I forgot and I was too embarrassed to go back and get it because I'm a loser. So going to Walmart again I'll put my mask on I know what you guys saw me without my mask but that's just because I don't like filming and talking with it so I mean, I'll definitely I definitely wore it in the store and I'm going to keep wearing it in the store just as like a disclaimer yeah. made it to my apartment Oh my god, I'm stuck in the door. Okay. Why is this so hot in my apartment? I don't know. Oh, okay. Let's just knock over a table a little bit of anything. Okay. Okay. Alright. It's in. So this is the cage. Um, it is... 40 gallons. I'm gonna stupidly try to. Oh, got it. Okay. So, this is gonna go over my hallway. Let's try to get it there. Good thing about. Because I thought I was gonna get an aquarium cage originally. But the good thing about this, um, like, terrarium cage is that it already comes with the mesh lid. It's the perfect, um, like, length and width that I want and everything. So I think these are a better option because the aquarium tanks that we're looking at were whew, crazy. So I'm glad I found this. Okay, time to finally show you guys what all I bought from my door. So I bought this little house hide thing. It's um, natural house hide, literally what I said. <laughs> um, it's super cute. It's got like compartments in the inside. Here, let me a little, bit, a little better yeah so it's got like the compartment it's got like the it's cute it's just cute um i got a six and a half inch wheel because i looked it up and it said that dwarfs need six and a half which looks kind of big for a dwarf but i didn't want to be like i don't know i wanted to be too careful in case like you know it's not big enough for him and he ends up getting hurt or something uh let's see I got this um, 
multicolor striped tube. Now this comes with like that, I think it's, what is it? Like nesting fluff, but I, I read that, that, that they can eat that and have digestion issues. So I'm not gonna put it in there for now. Someone in the comments tell me if that's okay for them or not. Um, yeah, because that makes me nervous, so. Okay, and then I got these chewing sticks. My guinea pigs really like these too, so. Um, I know I got more than that. Oh, yeah, a water bottle, wa uh, water bottle holder, which now I'm not sure if it'll work because the cage is, actually that might work. I don't know, the cage is pretty like tall, so I'm not sure if this will work for that, but we'll see. Um, and then of course a water bottle. It's like a, a pink, a pink water bottle. So I got something else. Wait. Yes, I also got this little thing from Walmart. Don't really know what's in it, but it's it's coconut. I think it's the coconut like hairs in there. But it's really cute. It says coconut habitat for resting and nesting. Great for hamsters, gerbils, and mice. Yeah. So. It's so cute though. When I, whenever I have chop for my guinea pigs, I would see this and I'd be like, dang, like guinea pigs would have no use for that. Um, but now I have a hamster and my hamster is gonna have use for it. So I'm excited. Hamsters are burrowing creatures, which means they need a lot of bedding to burrow in. Um, so yeah, I use this Uber bedding. I'm hoping that I have enough. Um, because I have this bag and then another one. So I'm hoping like two bags will be enough. Um, but if not, we can <sighs> always go back to Walmart. So yeah, let's just fill this up and I'll come back to you when it's all full. So much the first um, bag filled it up. So you know what, you guys? I think I'm just gonna put the second bag in like the more bedding the better for them i think so yeah you also want to make sure when you're doing this that all the bedding is separated nicely so that your hamster like this like clumps like you've got to separate those out um because you want your hamster to be able to burrow to be able to burrow like easily you know that you don't want them to get like stuck in chunks of yeah see like tough that is to get through like for a tiny hamster like you really got to make sure all your bedding is separated okay so with the water bottle holder it's actually too tall so um <laughs> i think what i'm probably gonna do is i'm probably gonna shallow out the bedding just near the water bottle maybe see i'm mad at myself because i picked up the taller one and put it back or the shorter one i mean i picked up the shorter one and put it back and bought the taller one because i was scared of um it not being able to hang correctly but then i realized you're supposed to bend this like this is supposed to bend to hang up. Like I thought it was supposed to like, but I didn't realize you're supposed to bend it. So that's gonna be weird, but we'll figure it out. Yeah, I really goofed on the the water bottle holder. Right? Except for, I think like just that will be okay. I don't know. I'm feeling nervous about the water bottle. <laughs> okay, so I found this water bottle that I used to use for my guinea pigs. Um, I didn't like how small it was for them, so I stopped using it and got new ones, but I'm going to use this one because that holds it better and everything, so. Okay, so I've now unboxed all of the little toys, things, so, um, yeah, let's start putting them in there. So I think I'm going to put the, how the hideout over here. Sorry, it's hard to see. All right, so I have unboxed all my toys. Um, so I think I'm gonna put the hideout over in that corner. Um, I'm gonna put this coconut guy over in this corner. See, I'm gonna leave room for floor space. So I'm gonna put his wheel right here. I'm gonna kind of bury that a little tiny bit. Can I bury the house a little? Definitely bury the coconut a little. Okay. Um, the sticks, I'm just gonna kind of hide around the space. So you can easily find them like that. 
then tube I'll put right over here. Okay, so this is that. Let me go get him and his food bowl and I'll be back. I've used the cupping method. Welcome, Signorina. Here is your new home. What do you think? Hey, he's in his new home. Let's see what he does first. He doesn't know what to think. He's like, okay, a tube. <laughs> He's so confused. I need to angle this maybe. He seems really confused, doesn't really know what to think. He's getting used to it all. I'm not gonna force him to go in anywhere. Or I'm not gonna put him in the wheel or anything. I'm not gonna force him like that. Let me bury this a little more so you're more comfy. You can sit in it. There you go. Going for the tomb. This is the first thing he's gone for, other than the food and one of the sticks, I think. Okay, so now he's in his little house. He loves it, you guys. You can tell he's just like wowed by it, kind of. Um, yeah. Do you like your new cage? Is it a lot better than your old one? Oh, did I scare you? I'm sorry. He was like the tiniest bit um, aggressive when I tried to get him out of his old cage. You know, he'd bite me and maybe I just wasn't handling him right. You know, this is my first time owning a hamster. So um, the only real experience I have was from my two guinea pigs. And obviously they're not the same. Um, so yeah, he would bite me every time I got him out of his um, little tiny cage and... So I think maybe he was just like angry and upset at the cage itself and where he was, his environment. You know, your environment plays into a lot how animals and people feel. So I think maybe that was another um, contributor. Oh, hello. He's like, what are you doing? Um, but yeah, he's loving that little house. Yes, Signorino. Signorino, Signorino, I call them both. But yeah, so that was me setting up my lovely cage obviously I'm gonna put the um, mesh lid on top when I'm when I'm done staring at him <laughs> but thank you guys for watching if you want to see more videos like this or you want to see me do um, a guinea pig cage tour I have two guinea pigs also um, they can't be together because they do not get along but their cages are next to each other so they still have that social piece I'm not gonna get into that all right now but if you want a video on my guinea pigs or you want more hamster videos, um, just leave me a like and subscribe and thank you for watching. <laughs>